Alright, good morning everybody. It's 829, November 20th. I hope and pray everybody receives a message off of this, the other videos. <laughs> I feel like we're narrowing into an area, you guys, where uh, this is getting ready. It's getting closer to the uh, time of uh, great tribulation to be starting here. What a lot of people are not looking at is the enemy. This is spiritual, what's happening here. And the enemy is working through people, okay? They're spirits. So they they host in other people and do what they do. Um, and it's all clearly choices when people choose to let the enemy in. So you have to let them in. And you have to realize when they are working in you and... Uh, that's why God's wrath is coming, for the children of disobedience. This is where it says overcoming, you know, those who, when they are tried and they overcome, they will receive a crown of life. That's what this is, you guys. It's horrible, but that's what it is, you know. We're, we're in a spiritual battle here, you guys, excuse me. Okay, here we go. Now you guys, when we're testing all spirits, this is important, you guys. We've had our eyes open to see and know what time we're in right now. Now anybody that's among us, we and they're reading their scriptures, you know it tells us to come out from among them. He opened our eyes to see what's about to happen here. Satan is the prince of this world Everything that's in this place, what's going on right now, is everything that Satan's been doing to further lead people into the things of the world. That's why you got your baseball, football, basketball. Listen to the ball, 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 bail, bail. You know, it's worshiping, idols. Everybody sees how they got their favorite baseball player, football player, basketball player, all these people, these are all idols. And if you know we're in these end times, this is how you test all spirits. Alright, if they seem to claim that they know we're in the last days right here, but yet they're still going to these games, playing games, talking about the games, anything that's of the world, you guys, of the world is not of God not in the God in heaven I want to share also you guys I had a dream last night uh, or this morning even a couple of them a lot of them <laughs> it was like off the charts last night man and uh, in one of them um, I'll have to think about this other one that I had a little bit um, but in one of them I seen what looked like something up there you know, like it was round. And I was thinking to myself, they're coming down. They're getting ready to come down. And uh, then I seen what looked like sharks swimming around them. Okay, this is where I think this is the battle in heaven. And they are about to be cast down upon the earth. And you know where it says, uh, when he realized where he was at, where he was thrown down? And he realized he was on the earth. Like it happened really fast to him. Boom, down, here he is. And he having great wrath because he knew his time was short. I think we're getting to that point where that's getting ready to happen. Over the last several years, I've seen where people were changing. And I could tell these other spirits had more power over them. And the restrainer is holding a lot of it back right now. But a lot of these spirits are in people, even the Antichrist spirit. But the restrainer is still holding them back. When the restrainer is removed, that's when God's going to take his elect out of here. But it doesn't mean we're not being going through things tried. You know, they're allowing this for us to be tried. Because remember, it says we're going to be longing to be out of this place because of what it is. Everybody else is loving it. They're still going, getting into these games and, you know, just taking everything with the greatest salt, like, 
It's easy. Well, when you read your scriptures, nowhere does it say that. It says, let your laughter be turned to mourning. You know, and you're going to be weeping and wanting out of this place. And a lot of these people, they don't even talk about the repentance. Once saved, always saved. But you can't lose it once you've got it. See, you guys, only the enemy would say that. What they're teaching and preaching today is not what the disciples were doing. You know, it's, it's clearly day and night what they're teaching. All you got to do is read what they're reading and listen to what they're saying. You, you know, listen. Those that can't hear it and don't know the difference of them, Scripture tells us why. They had itchy ears. They wanted to hear this. They wanted to follow it. So you just have to separate yourself from it. You know, this, a lady made a comment this morning about, you know, sorry my channel wasn't bigger than it is, but everybody wants, uh, the once saved, always saved. That's what everybody's flocking to. And she's right. That is what they're going after. And when I started this channel in 2014, I, that was one of the things I said. This channel will never tickle your ear. And I never have. I'm not into that. Um, so, it's no, it's not going to go very big. But I was also told that they have different work for me to do. It's not this what I'm doing. I only do this because of all the things they've showed me, what, I, what I've seen, what is coming. And uh, the Lord's showed me a lot. But I've seen like the worldly, the things of the world, the people that do the things of the world, what I was seeing last night in a dream, how they all have those hand signs, what they do. They're of the world, and that's the spirit of Antichrist that's in them. Um, and if they can't see, it's because of the cares and the pleasures and the lust of this life. It's just what it says. Few are going to make this, you guys. We just have to accept it and let it be. Everything will work itself out, okay? It's going to be difficult enough, especially with a lot of you guys. you got your family members. You're seeing how they're just totally oblivious to this. Um, you tried warning them and they look at you like they you don't know what you're talking about Anyhow, that's all you can do. Then you just pretty much got to move on and let it be let everything take its course Colossians chapter 3 1 through 10 if you then be risen with Christ seek those things which are above Where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God set your affections on the things above not on the things of the earth. Now, you guys, you once saved, always saved. They're never going to be telling you these things. You'll, when it says test spirits, are they still playing games? If they are, you've got your answers right there. They're not among us. Remember, it said some of them will have an appearance. But you'll, they'll seem like they're um, God holy people, but they have zero fear in anything, and they believe they can even sin. And we know he's coming down here for the children of disobedience. And if you're sinning, that is disobedience. Repentance, man. You got to repent and turn away from it. You got to ask God for a, a clean heart, you know, and for a spirit of, uh, of holiness. Be seeking God in holiness. You know, you got to stop sinning. Remember, it's, it's sin. If sin is abiding in you and you're wanting to sin all the time, that's of the devil. That's of a different spirit. That's what you got to get out of you, not having those desires anymore. But you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Okay? We're, we're going to be hid in Christ with God now. But you have to be dead to it. If they're still playing games, I'm telling you right now, they're not of us. They're not. It's guarantee it. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil, conspicuous, covetedness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. 
See, when we say that we want to be obedient unto Christ, uh, taking every thought captive, they want to say that we're trying to do works. See, that's how the enemy is, making things crooked. Okay? <clears throat> in which you also walked sometimes when you lived in them. But now you also put off all these. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. You guys, I'm going to read this again. You put off all of these things. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, and filthy communication out of your mouth. In other words, you don't even want to be saying nothing to these people even though you know that they're deceiving people. The only thing that you can do is just say, that's not scriptural. That's not what they taught back then. You know, that's a new doctrine. That's not of Christ. What you're teaching is a complete different doctrine. Even we know that we're saved by grace through faith. But they're saying that if you do anything else, you're trying to do works. Even in obedience to Christ. You know, that's what the enemy is. That's what they do. They try to make things crooked. So we just have to separate ourselves from that and continue on our walk. But we make note of it. And then those others that want to continue following, that's what they're going to do. And don't kid yourself. The enemy will even come on different channels and try to cause division and try to get people to think elsewise, you know. And I've got a list of people on my channel I've had to block. I mean, I've got hundreds of them I've had to block. It's working in a lot of people. Now, I just had somebody contact me and ask me if he could get back on the channel. Said he's been watching the whole time and he's changed where he understands and he sees and he reads the scriptures and he has the understanding of the scriptures now where before it was different like the once saved always saved thing so I I took him off the block list let him back on you know now he makes comments which I like you know because they're out of the scripture he's not just giving that uh, telling people they can do this and it's over that you're saved and there ain't nothing else to it you know Christ spent three and a half years in his ministry. His disciples gave their lives to the death during their ministry, you know, and we're supposed to obey their teachings. All right, it was all Holy Spirit inspired. And if they deny those scriptures, they're denying the Holy Spirit that wrote them, that inspired them to write them. Okay. Lie not to one another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge, after the image of him that created him. Matthew 21, 28-32 But what think ye? A certain man, he had two sons. And he came to the first and said, Son, go into the vineyard and work. And he answered and said, I will not. But later, he repented, and he went. This is kind of like, when you hear this story, it's kind of like us. We were out there, we didn't go. But later, when, they opened, when he opened our eyes to see, now we've been out here trying to warn people in what we see and what we know, what the Holy Spirit has brought upon us. That's why it says, you have an unction that no man needs to teach you. And we're reading the scripture in the full. We're not following that once saved, always saved doctrine. And we know that's not the doctrine that the disciples wrote and what the scriptures reads. It's not even close to it, what they're doing. So that's why we do what we do. This is where in the vineyard it clearly says it, you know. Okay, so he went and he repented. And afterwards, and he went to the vineyard to work remember Jesus even said pray that I find that I send workers in these times all right then he came to the second uh, and he said likewise and he answered and said I go sir but he went not whether of them did the will of his father remember Jesus said those that do the will of my father are my brothers and my sisters 
They say unto him, The first, Jesus said, Yes, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. See how everybody was coming to John and what? He was baptizing them with water. You know, they all believed and they were being getting baptized and repenting. Okay, well today you got people trying to teach you it's not necessary. That you don't need to. You know, this church, I heard a church once say, oh, we haven't baptized it. We stopped that 40 years ago. I'm going, wow. And I'm hearing these numbers like this. <clears throat> and then 17. I was standing there waiting to talk to that same pastor, and a guy who came, said he drove all the way from Texas he said, I drove 17 hours to get here. Would you baptize me and my family? And he said, we haven't done that in 40 years. We don't do that. Only if you're a member. Well, listen, we are all the members, the body of Christ. And when they say you're not a member, but you just said you drove 17 hours, you know, back in the early days, if somebody would have drove cross country to any church anywhere and asked to be baptized, they would have done it. They would have set a time and a date or something. They would have done it, but not today. That's why he said 40 years ago we stopped doing it. Okay. All right, but the publicans and the harlots, they believed him. And you, when you had seen it, repented not afterwards that you might believe him you guys do any of these OSAS and future sinners you know ever consider the will of the father you know wouldn't, shouldn't you be telling people to repent of your sins to resist the devil take every thought captive as the scriptures tells you see they won't even read those you got to remember this is spiritual it's not the person himself but the spirit that abideth in them. All right, because these are being hidden from them. And they're doing, you know, just as it says, if they took pleasure in unrighteousness, God sends them strong delusions to believe the lies. And these people flocking to them, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. All right. Doing the will of the Father is going to affect you. Do you think for one minute, doing the will of the Father is going to affect your faith? in the grace we have knowing we are sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ is that going to affect that not one bit you guys if anything that's going to be pleasing to the father Jesus said that those that do the will of the father don't you think the will of the father is that we repent and we stop sinning that we overcome as the scripture says yes you guys remember five are foolish Okay, five are foolish. Why would that be? Romans 6, 21. What fruit had you in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. Jeremiah 8, 12. Now, you guys, you see there's no... They don't even blush about the things. They don't even seem to be ashamed of it, of the past things that they've done. And they even say, even if you sin, you're covered. All right. Were they ashamed when they had committed the abomination? No. They were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. what I said you guys we're called to come out of this world if they're still wanting talking about baseball games football games whatever if they're still doing that stuff we know we're in the final moments that he's getting ready to come okay we don't want to be ashamed when he shows up a lot of these people if they're going to be at the games playing games I'm going to tell you something when he comes here do you think that's what they should have been doing continuing in the way of the world or should they have been waking people up? You know, telling people that he's coming. Repent. You know, that's what John the Baptist did the whole time. Always telling people, repent, repent, repent. He's coming. He's coming. 
he wasn't out there doing worldly things. And then a lot of those people were coming and they were repenting. But not everybody. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 4 through 6. Our weapons, for our weapons of warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God to pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. See, a lot of these people, these future sinners, they'll say, if you have a thought, you sin. Well, when I read scripture, it says a thought. Remember, this is spiritual. They'll come in and try to give you a thought. You haven't sinned unless you um, you take that thought and you and you uh, bring it in to conceive it. You have to conceive that thought in order to um, have sinned. But if you take that thought and you bring it into captivity, into the obedience of Christ... And it says you will when your obedience is fulfilled. In other words, when you stop um, sinning, stop. You got to stop. And you can't. These people saying you can't, that everybody does. Do you ever hear them saying they're taking the thoughts captive? I haven't. You know, I've only heard them supporting it, embracing it. And only the enemy would do that. I, the disciples of Christ would have never, ever have told you to... Uh, give in to it or it would be okay if you did at no time alright and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled Ephesians chapter 2 5 through 9 even when we were dead in our sins he quickened us together with Christ by grace we're saved you see, you guys, we do what we do because we love him and we want to obey him to be obedient children. Now, you know if you were raising children and your child was disobedient, you know, versus the child that is obedient. And he raised us up together and made us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus <clears throat> for by grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God it's not of works lest any man should boast excuse me okay. Yes, even when we were dead in sins, he quickened us together with Christ. By grace, we're saved, you guys. Remember that. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, okay? We've been washed, cleansed, okay? Now, you want to stay clean. Remember, those that made themselves ready in the blood of the Lamb. Then there's going to be those that went back to the mire, to the vomit, okay? That were once clean, they went back into it. That's the teaching that you're hearing today. Those that went back. You know. So there's a lot of that going on, you guys. Just know this. Don't get into no... Don't let anything get you upset. Stay separate from that, okay? 1 John chapter 4, 5-6 They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay, now this is me. We know the wrath of God is coming, and we know it comes on the children of disobedience. So the last thing you're going to want to be doing is be found uh, being disobedient, thinking that all your sins are covered even when you're being a disobedient child when you're not even uh, uh, resisting but you're submitting yourself unto it they who are of the world will be doing what the world does so you guys you'll know them that's how you can see by testing the spirit alright they're not hard to see by the things they're doing okay 
We were called, remember this, many are called, but few are chosen. Jesus even said in the temple to them who couldn't hear his words, they were the children of the devil. We are also seeing this today. You know, people that are denying what's written in scripture. They don't want to use that because it requires repentance, it requires obedience, it requires picking up your cross, following him daily, not going to games, not sitting at home, turning your TV on, watching games. If you know we're in the end time, I don't see how it's possible anybody could. You know, I don't see how it's possible. But, alright. Now here I put in something else here. A certain man had two sons and he came to the first and said, Son, go to work in the vineyard. And he answered and said, I will not. But afterwards he repented and went. We were that child. We came to our senses by the Holy Spirit. And we are workers, you guys. Another thing, uh, another thing you guys, I want to say is... Uh, any man that is chosen by God for these things, they do not entangle themselves with the affairs of this world, especially games. But you don't entangle yourself with the affairs of this world. He's coming down. That's what my dream showed me last night. He's coming. and It's getting ready to come to a point where people have made their bed and they're going to lay in it. Matthews 9.38 Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers unto his harvest. Jeremiah 8.12 or Romans 6, 21 through 23. What fruit had you in those things whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become the servants to God, you have your fruit into holiness, and the end is everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalms 51, 10 13. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and, a re and renew a right spirit within me. Okay? If your spirit has been renewed, that means you're going to be dead to these things here. You're not going to want nothing more to do with them. You know, you're going to separate yourself from them. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And uphold me with thy free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy way. And sinners shall be converted unto thee. I would have to say, you guys, to seek peace, avoid all that is not of God or of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sin is of the devil. And we are in a world that is filled with evil people who are the children of disobedience. Remember, this is the, like the days of Noah. Most people aren't going to make it. The wrath of God is coming for that reason. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 14-18 be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with the unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Baal? What part has that he believeth with an infidel? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? Our body is the temple of God. Okay, so what agreement? Like if you're going to games and you're worshiping idols, that's what they are. Rock concert, those are idols. Uh, baseball, football players, those are idols. People idolize them. They idol. That's why they're called idols. For you are the temple of the living God. And God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, 
says the Lord Almighty. First John chapter 2 verse uh, 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they'd been of us, they would have no doubt continued with us. But they went out, that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of us. You guys, they went out to be in the world. That's what they went out for. To be of the world, okay? God bless you guys. I hope and pray everybody receives a message from this. Be strong, be bold, trust in the Lord, you guys. My dream showed me this is getting ready to happen. I'm going to do another video right now. I'll load that up, and I'll talk a little bit more on those dreams. God bless you in Jesus' name.